Memories, Mr. Watercolored Memories of the way we were. It's kind of weird, it sounds like a theme to Neighbours. Neighbours, I don't know the words to Neighbours, but I think this is the song. Do 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 do. I don't even know if you have Neighbours in America, it's an Australian soap opera that I used to watch when I was a kid, but I don't really watch anymore. Australian soap! Australian beer! Topical? I think so. Ah. Okay, well since everybody seems to be doing things about diaries and stuff, is that a theme? It could be a theme and I might not know. <gasps> well, I'm gonna do it anyway, so it doesn't matter if it's a theme and I forgot. These are the memoirs of me. There's the four diaries I've had for the last four years. Well, this is this year. But, like, when I went to America, I had to write a journal about, like, what I did. So, I started writing this. And then it crossed over into the next year when I started writing this. And then I thought, what the hell, I'll carry on. And I started writing this. And then I set myself a nerd fantastic challenge where I would write a whole diary without any gaps in it. So I started writing this. Which has massive gaps in it because obviously we haven't got to that part of the year but so far we're doing really well and we've got stuff written in there which is kind of current and probably not going to write, uh, read about it but let's go looking and delving into the wonders of the past I went on Twitter that's the international hand signal for the internet um, and asked people to pick random dates for me to read from my diary so the first person who got there was I think Carmen Carmen chose the 3rd of May 2007. May 3rd, 2007. Location at Stillwater, Oklahoma. I was up kind of early today to do some last minute studying for my film final at 10. After that I went to Walmart and to get some last minute things for my flight because I left America on the 5th of May. Then I went to eat at the market despite the fact that earlier on in the day I'd been to Eskimo Joe's to have lunch with my English friend as sort of a buy to still ordery kind of thing. And then we discovered that Nathan's roommate had flunked out of school, so Nathan needed to get all this stuff out of his apartment, there was a whole drama. And in the evening we had pancakes, because they put pancakes on in the student union during finals week. Shush Casey, I'm busy. The next date was chosen by Sarah Dodd, unfortunately she chose the summer when I was working a lot, so there's only like two and a half lines. Tuesday, July 17th, 2007. Southam, England. Still very sick today, although I did also still go to work. This is going to be a long week, I feel. The next date was chosen by Kelsey Wolf. Unfortunately, she also chose a time and I didn't have a lot to write because I was writing my dissertation. Saturday, the 29th of March, 2008. Hatfield, England. I did no work today, at all. It's completely stupid. Only two weeks till this bloody thing's due in and I'm still on the second chapter. That's it. Writing dissertations is stressful. Yeah, okay, so those are my diaries. But, while we're talking about memories and stuff, I write stuff down, like, I have pads of paper with stuff written down, and I found most of my pads of paper, and so I'm just going to show you the pile. Uh, sorry, I've got off the screen. This is the pile of pads of paper I have, and notebooks, and they're all filled with random crap. So, let's... Oh, fuck. Oh. Yeah, I dropped them. Yeah, so that's kind of like all of my old stuff where I write things down. Um, it's pretty cool. There's a lot of old stuff in there that I haven't read to you because it's kind of embarrassing and a little bit personal, so I'm sorry about that. Um, I don't really have much more to say except this. I have bought a car. It's a little runaround. It's kind of a piece of crap. It's 10 years old. But it needs a name because everything has to have a name. And generally speaking, people are against naming cars. My mum names all her cars Henrietta, which I think is ridiculous. However, it's a machine. Machines are girls like chips and stuff, and therefore it needs a name. So I want to name it um, Cayman Lee. Or Kaylee. If you don't know why, look it up. But I just want to know your suggestions for names, because obviously it's not going to have a name until Monday when I start driving it to work. So, in the comments, suggest names for the car. I will tell you what I name it next week. I should go now. I'm getting dizzy. I need a beer. What the hell? This I'll see you tomorrow. Teddy bye.